Well, 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 hello, hello, and hello again. <laughs> yes, I'm back. I've been away for a minute. I've been working very, very hard on a um, charting system for internet radio, uh, mainly gospel radio stations. You can check that out. I have link a link in the bio. I also have been working on my own social media site. That's been going pretty good, to be honest with you. Um, that's also in the link of the description of this video. This video, we're just going to take a quick look at Radio DJ version 2045. It was released January 25th of this year, 2024. I decided just to wait, 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 because he did do a 2044 and it was buggy and he had to get some bugs out of the way. And, um, knowing Morris, you know, he's going to be on top of it. Also keep him, keep him in prayer. We haven't heard from him since March. So hopefully everything is going well with him. So I'm over at their website. I'm on, I'm in the forum in the forum is where you can get, you know, information and help from other people, ideas and things of that nature from other people. So I'm at radio DJ dot R O four slash community. That's how you get to the forums. And um, he gives a little information about 2045, but it actually comes from 2044. So 2044 probably has more of what should have happened, but then he, you know, had to correct some things. There's no database modification. I'm on 2043 on my main system, so there's no modification if you are on one of the other latest versions. But this is version 2045, okay? And you can get that from their website at radiodj.ro forward slash download. I would, if I was you, I would go get it. Even if you don't plan to use it right away, just download it so you have it in case something happens and it disappears. Um... And also on this page is where you can get um, the say time plugin. Well, that comes with it. You can get some audio files for the teaser as well as the say time audio files. They got Spanish, English, and Italian. There's some pretty good um, voices in there as well. And there's some web scripts if you want to play with this. All right. But we're just going to quickly look at version 2045. Now, I've already installed it kind of laid it out like i want um with the instant players manual events the notes the online requests and the web browser i've already did all of that for myself so what we want to do there's no music in here i want to quickly show you the sync the folder sync real quick we're just gonna i've, I've already it's still in there i was testing it out so I'm going to highlight this first line. Let me see what happens if I highlight the second line and hit sync now. Okay, that's um, should be in the 80s folder. So let's go and see. Did it take? There is absolutely nothing in there. Hmm, interesting. Let's try this one. Nothing. And let's try this one. Nothing. That's interesting. So here, well, they're there. Um, okay. I think those went into that last one, music and gospel. I think that's where they went. And they load up, they play. play i think what he upgraded was the audio engine as well as some um minor bugs that he felt was needing to be updated so the folder sync is one way to do it uh, of course directory import is the best way to do it if you're doing a whole like a whole lot of stuff that's in one folder. So like if I come over here and this is under the new music. So if I hit the May folder, there's a few songs in there. And let's say we put that into the gospel. I'm not worried about the genre. 
and let's just hit go. That's the best way if you're doing a whole lot of files for a folder. Um, that's the best way to do it. But I'm going to show you another way you can do it too. You can drag and drop. Now, the only thing about the dragging and dropping is you have to actually drag the file. You cannot drag and drop the folder. All right, so let me pull this over here. Let me find some music. We'll go here and we'll do March. So if I grab, let me pick, um, now what you have to do is you have to select all three of these up at the top. All right. So I'm going to select the 2000 because I know there's nothing in there. Let's see what happens if we try to drop the folder. Now it'll look like it's going to drop. Wait a minute. But see, it says here, please select category and genre. Okay. So I didn't select the genre. So let's select the genre. We'll just do, um, I don't know, chorus. See if it'll drop the folder. I don't think it'll drop the folder though. I really don't. So let's drop it. That's a folder. It's not, see, it looks like it's going to drop it, but nothing happens, right? We have another folder drop. Nothing happens. You actually have to drop the MP3. So if you want a quick way to get something in, you can do that, but you do have to select the subcategory and the genre in order for the work. So if I don't have the genre selected, even if I grab the file, it's still not going to drop it in. It's going to, you're going to get the error message telling you that you have to select a genre. So if I select the genre, then I can drag and drop. I wonder if you could do that in the queue as well. So let's go to another folder, get a different song. See if we can drag and drop that into the queue. Uh, I don't think it took. No. All right. It's worth trying though. So this is the latest version. The one of the main things that was updated was audio processing. He used the latest version of bass, which is a audio plugin. So also a lot of people tend to don't want to use the enhancer. So you can turn that off. All right. But other than that, everything is the same. It's just um, a little bit better. It runs better. But everything you've seen in my other previous videos will still be the same and work the same way. Um, with the color thing, though, he did give you a lot more control over the way this thing looks. So this title bar right here is colorable. The date and time is colorable. I think some of this was already colorable. Um, even the information up at the top will be colorful when the song is playing. So give it a try, download it, give it a try. And, um, we'll see you in the next video. I think the next video I'm going to do, uh, what is it? OBS. Someone wanted to be able to do OBS and they wanted the song title and the cover to show in OBS in terms of what they were playing on their station, which is great if you're doing a live show. If you're doing a live show in this video, it'd be nice to have what you're playing also show up on the screen. So the next video, we're going to talk about that. All right. Thank you guys for being a subscriber. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you feel the need to donate, I don't normally even ask, but if you feel the need to donate, I appreciate it. Um, that information will be in the description. And if you haven't joined how to use radio DJ.com, make sure you join that. I'm thinking about moving that uh, training all. I'm thinking about moving that over to my masterclass website. You, you'll still be able to get there by going to how to use radio DJ.com. Um, but you'll, you'll find out more about that. And then everybody that's already a member, I got to figure out how to move all of you guys over to the masterclass website. All right. Again, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's go have fun sending music, audio, podcasts, and talk radio to the entire world.